And first at five, Seguin police trying to figure out how skeletal remains ended up inside a home there. We first told you about the discovery on the news at noon. Garrett Berger has been out in Seguin all day and tells us investigators say the first step is to figure out who the person is and how they died. Joe Vasquez says he noticed a smell and flies about a month ago with the heat. Very bad odor, but you know, it's, it's kind of hard to determine if it's a body, trash, a dead animal. I mean, you really never know. But when he found out what had been in the home just a few feet away, he was shocked. And because we have kids next door, they play in the backyard and run right there next to the house and everything. Never once thought, thought of it. Seguin police say that while investigating a child abuse neglect case in another part of town Sunday night, they learned there may be skeletal remains at this home in the 900 block of Anderson Street. When they did a welfare check, they found the bones of what they believe is an adult in a bedroom. But there are more questions than answers. It's going to take a long time to determine who it is, the manner of death, cause of death, since it is, again, just skeletal remains. The Texas State University Anthropology Department will process the remains to help get those answers. Meanwhile, at least one woman and daughter live at the home. Police say they're cooperating, though, and neither they or anyone else is in custody right now. The bones were discovered on a pretty crowded residential street, and some residents we talked to shocked and unsettled by their discovery. It's kind of freaking me out. Like, I got phone calls all day, like someone's thinking it's my grandma's. I was, like, coming over here, and I'm just like, what? Because I know everybody in town. Like, it's kind of scary, to be honest. We're also live in a society, civilized, and, you know, why are we, what are we doing with, uh, you know, decomposed body in our house? You know what I mean? Well, the crime scene itself is being wrapped up as we speak. The Texas State University Forensic Center has already left the scene. Their, uh, their director telling us that they're taking the remains with them, and they'll be trying to figure out who and how in the coming weeks. Live in Seguin, I'm Garrett Berger, KSAT 12 News.